However, there is a forward. That is, why should we understand the basic rules? I sum it, it into three sentences. The first sentence, success is not just what you did, but also what you did not do. These are mainly about the prohibition rules and the intellectual property rules. There is a bottom line of Aliexpress on these two rules that we cannot touch. So later I will tell you the prohibition rules and intellectual rules. The second sentence, a service that, a faster improvement. It's just like if we are building a tall building. How deep the foundation is, how taller the building we can build. You agree with this? So we need to learn the product publishing rules and the search ranking rules. That means we need to publish a perfect product, then make advertising and have this product with a higher ranking. So we need to know the rules, the regulations. Then we can have a faster improvement. Then the third, prevent problems and solve problems in time. That is mainly about the dispute rules and the feedback rules. For example, if our buyer open disputes on our orders, what shall we do? How can we avoid the disputes from our sellers? How can we avoid the negative feedbacks, the negative reviews? And how can we get more positive feedbacks, especially the five-star positive feedbacks? This is the reason why we should understand the basic rules. Okay, this is the course outline. It is all the regulations. It is 10 regulations of Aliexpress. Of course, this lecture will last about two hours, and I will have one and a half hour to present this course, and then we have about half an hour to communicate. So if you have any question about this course during my speech, you can write it down in your notebook, or you can also write it directly into the Ding Ding group. I will check your questions later during the communication time. So we can start this lesson now. All the regulations, the regulations about registration. That means how can you open a store on Aliexpress? And then the product release rules. What shall we do to release a perfect product to make it ha have a better ranking? That's about the searching ranking rules. Then we should learn the dispute rules and feedback rules. Meanwhile, intellectual property, we can short it for IP rules, the prohibition rules. And also, if we are violating these rules, what is the penalty for these violations? Then we're going to learn the TRO ban, which is a, a ban from the US court. It is a headache for many sellers. And then the last one, return and exchange rules. So this is all the rules today we're going to learn. First, we start with the registration rules. Here is the requirements for opening a store. Of course, it's not for all the countries. For example, if in your country, for example, in Spain, maybe you don't need a trademark. That is just a gen generally speaking, the steps. It's better you have a company with business license. And then if you have a trademark, it is better. And in some country, especially in China, you need to pay a security deposit. Of course, for all the countries, now it's not needed. And then the steps. There are five steps to open a store. Step one, sign up. Step two, submit information. That's the information about your company, about your tax information. Step three, the deposit. And then the step four, step five, complete your store information. Then you can open a store. You can post your listing onto Aliexpress. Here is some often asked questions. For example, if the, if the trademark must be our type? Yes. If you want to add your trademark onto Aliexpress, it must be our type. Do I have to be the legal person of the company? No need. You just need to have the business license or the authorization of the business license. And then you can open your store. How many stores can I open with one business license? 
the answer is six. That means with one company, with one business license, you can open six different stores on AliExpress. And then, if I open this store, how many categories can I operate within one store? Within one store. In one store, you can only post first level categories. Of course, you can post all the products of the sub-secondary categories, just like this. If you open a store, the category is women's fashion. This is the first level category, the women's fashion, and also another 13 or 14 first level category. You open a store, then you have the right to post all the products of the secondary category under this first level category, such as the jacket, the shirts, the jeans, the cover-ups, the eyewear, etc. So that means you only one first level category, then you can post all the secondary categories of the products into your AliExpress store. And then about the deposit, of course, you have no worry about this because you have no deposit to pay by overseas sellers because you are overseas sellers. So you just have a look at this. Maybe in future, if there are more and more overseas sellers, they are asked to pay the deposit. But you can just have a, a look of this. Then we go to the process of register. First, you need to create an account. You just need an email address and log in this, or just click this website. Use the password, then click the continue. You can have an account. Then the second step is write the verify code. So your email address should be an often used email because you need this email to receive the verify code. So take your email and get the verify code right here, then you can submit. After submit, you can, you should complete your business info. Your business info including of your company infos and also the tax information. Also you need your bank account details. So you just follow the steps to fill this space of the sheet that is enough. And then after you submit, normally it takes two to three working days. This is working days to pass this review. And here are some questions on this process. For example, what if I cannot receive the verify code? First, you need to go to your spam box of email to check whether it is recognized as a spam email. So first one, check this. Then if you still not receive it, just retry, just resubmit the information. A second question, how can I change the language during the registration? You can directly click here, here the language selection, selection the countries, uh, the, the languages of your country. And then the third question, once the registration is completed, you need to check it in this website. So please keep this website. You can make a screenshot to keep this website to check the process of your submission. And then after this review is approved, the seller will be notified by email. So then check your email. And the, the, the last question, what if the audit fails? There are two solutions. Please follow the link in the email you received to see the reason why your audit failed. Then you can resubmit the category, the brand, and other related issues after uploading more materials. This is the process. And, and after your store is opened, there is another process. Of course, it's for some sellers who have a brand. If you have a brand, that means if you have a trademark, it is better to add the brand when you post a listing. But if you don't have a brand, just skip it. That means if you don't have a brand, you can select no brand or just skip it. But I suggest it's better to add a brand because if the product is with a brand, it will give the confidence to the buyers. So your conversion rate will be higher and the buyer will know easily to place the order and pay for this order. 
So if you have a trademark, just post into the list. About how to add the brand. If this brand is already in the list of AliExpress, you just need to select it. For example, if you have the authorization of the Mac, if you can sell Mac products, you just select Mac when you post a product. And if it has not been added into the list, you should add a new brand in this process. This is the process of adding a brand. This is the register and how to open a store. Then after we have a store and our store is opened, we should learn the product release rules. That means how can we release the product into AliExpress? In this chapter, I will show you in these three aspects. How many listings can I post? How to post the listing? And the, image, the images requirements. Then we start with how many listings can I post? Actually, normally in, in a store, you can post as many as 3,000 listings. That means 3,000 products. Uh, but anyway, there's no posting limit for Spanish or Italian sellers. So you can uh, upload, you can post as many listings as you can, as you want. Let's check this example. Here in this store, there is about 2,000 items, 2,000 links, listings in this store. Do you think it's, it's more or less? Actually, in some years ago, about five years ago, in one of my store, there are more than 6,000 6, listings. That is crazy, right? But now I don't suggest I don't suggest you to post so many listings. Normally, several hundred is okay. 300, 500, that's okay. Not too many. And, and about the listing, actually, if we have 100 listing, that means we have 100 products, right? So there is a suggestion. If you have only 20 products, how can you post 100 listing? Here's a suggestion. If you have, if, if one of your listing have 10 SQ, that, mean, that means if you have, for example, if you have the sunglasses, that is 10 colors. Actually, you can split it into two or three listing, each listing with three or four SQ. So in this way, you have only 10 or 20 products, then you can post about 100 listing. In this way, you can get more exposure. You can get more traffic. Then if you have this traffic, that can be others. And then we learn the process of post a listing. To post the listing, you should prepare these aspects, these materials, the product information, the pictures, the details about the properties. We can also see the attributions, and then the detailed product description. In the product information, it includes the language, the title, and the category. I will show you how to edit later. And then the pictures. For the pictures, you need to prepare six main pictures and two marketing products uh, pictures. And then the details of the properties. And in the detailed product description, I suggest you do a graphic and a text combination. Okay, let's go with the product information. Language. The first, you should choose a language. For example, if your product is mainly sold into USA, into the United Kingdom, and, and, and other countries who use English, so you can post a listing in English. Here, you can change the language. And then write a title. Here, write a title. And it's better, you can add multi-language. Just, just like this. Here I have a suggestion. If you have the ability, or if you have the, the staff, your colleagues, who can translate the English titles into other language, you can ask them to translate. Because the translate manually is better than the translate by AliExpress automatically. So if you have this kind of expert, this kind of colleagues, you can ask them to translate, and then 
boost. That is, you have no this expert, just use the translate. Just click the translate, and then the English title will be translated into another 80 languages. This is the translate. And then about the category, how to select the category? There are two ways. The first, you can select the category from one level to the sub level. For example, if you want to post a product or some glasses, you just uh, select from appeal accessories, eyewears, sunglasses. This is one way, one method. You have another method. You can just tap the sunglasses here and search. Then the system will suggest the correct categories for you. Here is a suggestion. Don't put your product into a wrong category. If so, you have no traffic. And then about the pictures. The pictures we need six pictures for the main picture. It's better you can have the pictures of the product front view, back view, view shot, side view, close up, etc. Later in the next chapter, I will tell you more about the, the picture design. And then the marketing images. The marketing images is better to design it with a, a better view because this marketing image it is longer than the normal main picture. So if, if, if our buyers can see these marketing images, because it's longer, right? So the click rate, the clicking rate will be higher. So the marketing images is needed if you want to have a better ranking. Then about the details of the properties, or we can also see the attributions. There are the properties that you have to write in, you have to fill, such as the column that marked with the star. And there is also the customer, the customized properties. So here is the average completion rate. It is 78 percentage. But I suggest to fill all the space fully. That means to make it 100 percentage. It's better. It's, it's better for your ranking. And then add more details, just like this. You can add customized properties, just like style 1, style 2. Then fill more keywords here. For example, the polarized, the kid sunglasses, eyewear, etc. The more keywords you put here, the chance your product is searched by your buyers. So my suggestion is to keep the completion into 100 percentage and add more of the customized properties with your keywords, the keywords of your product. And then about the detailed product description. In this column, what we should do is to design it, to edit it into the text with images combination. We cannot do it with only text. We cannot do it with only pictures. So it's better we can do it a text and pictures combination. This is better for SEO, the search engine optimization. So you can do it in this way. And then for the images requirements, we just talk about three kinds of images. And actually, there is another image of the SQ image. So totally, we need four, four kinds of images the main image, the marketing image, the SQ image, and the description image. And what is the requirements? For the main image, it is better. The video is 1 to 1 or 3 to 4. And it is better. We can make it larger than 800 plus 800, the pixel. And here is the notice. Don't steal pictures. That means don't copy the pictures from other store. Don't copy the pictures from other websites if they have the copyright. I will, I will talk more later in the next chapter of the intellectual property. And the marketing image. The marketing image must be bigger than 750 plus 1000. Actually, I suggest just to use the pixel like this. It, it is enough. And here is the SQ image. For the SQ image, it can be only less than 200k. And the ratio is better 1 to 1. And then the description image. For the description image, 
you should just notice this. The pixel width and height must be greater than 260 pixel. So it should be larger than this. And, and I also suggest you just post the same pixel with your main image into the description area. Okay, that is all about uh, the release product. And then we move to the intellectual property rules. Uh, this is the emphasis of this lecture, and it, it is very important. So we should uh, listen carefully. Uh, in this chapter, there are seven aspects. The type of infringement. That means how many types of infringement totally in AliExpress. And I will also show you some infringing cases. The purpose is to avoid violations. And once you have the violations, what is the penalty for this? Then we got to learn how to check the intellectual property details, the IP details, how to respond if somebody make a complaint against your product, your listing, and then how to protect our own IP. That is the outline of this chapter. First, let, let's check the type of infringement. Actually, there are only three types of infringement in AliExpress. They are trademark, copyright, patent infringement. Totally, these three types of infringement. And then we're going to learn the definition of them. What is trademark infringement? What is copyright? What is patent infringement? The first, about the trademark infringement, and it divided into two violations. The first one is serious violations, and there's also the general violations. What is the serious violation? The serious text means you use the same or similar trademark on the same product without the permission of the trademark owner. That means, for example, if you are selling the shoes on AliExpress, but you have no the permission of Nike trademark, for example, you have no the Nike trademark author authorization, but you put you post a product, a shoes with Nike logo. That is the serious violations. And then, what is general violations? For example, if you are selling the phone case on AliExpress, and you put the Nike logo onto your phone case, this is not the same product, right? So, this is the general violations. If we have these two kinds of violations, what is the penalties? For the serious violations, if you violated three times and got offenders three times, and your account will be closed, it is very serious, right? So please keep an eye on this. And for the general violations, there is some points to deduct it. For the first violation, no points deduction. But later, for each Subsequent violation, six points to be deducted. And once your point to be deducted reached to 48 in a year, within a year, then your, your store will be also closed. Your account will be closed. Will, will be closed. This is the trademark infringement. And then about the copyright infringement. What is the copyright infringement? That is, if you have no the permission of the copyright work, materials such as the text, the photos, the videos, the music, the software. And for these materials, there are also two levels. The first is physical level, and the second is information level. The physical product, all its packaging belongs to the physical level. And there are also information level. For example, you use the pictures, you use the text of the copyright of the third party. For example, if if you use the text of the net case slogan, just do it into your product. That is copyright infringement. If you use the pictures of the Adidas or the Disney, it is the copyright infringement. And the penalty is the same. It's the same with the general violations of trademark. That is about that all about the points. If the points reach 48, your account will be closed. 
And then the third infringement is the patent infringement. And the patent infringement includes three cases. The appearance patents, the utility model patents, and the invention right, uh, patents. And the penalty is the same as the copyright infringement. So just remember, don't reach 48 points to be deducted. Then your, your account will be closed. That is within the period of one year. And then we will learn more about the penalty. There are three rules of the, the penalty. The first one about the general violations. In one same day, the deduction points shall not exceed six points. That means for the general violations, in one day, can only deduct six points in your account. In this way, if you have a complaint against your product and it is general violations, just check your store within one day, within 24 hours, to see whether you have other products which is also violations of this same can. If you have, just delete this product. Delete, not make it offline. Because even if it's offline, the AliExpress will also audit it. They can also fail it. So in one way, don't make the points exceed six points. The second rule about serious violations, that is a period of three days. And in the three days, the violations can only be calculated once. So if you have serious violation, check it to make sure all your products are without violations. This is serious violation. If you have three times of violation, your account will be closed. Remember? Then, about uh, the period of the penalty, it is one year. That means you have 48 points to be deducted within one year. And after another year, you have another 48 points. So just uh, keep an eye on this. Don't let the points more than 48 points. And here is also the penalty details. There are four details. What shall AliExpress do if you got this penalty? They may return or delete your listing if it is the general violations. They may restrict the release of goods. That means you have no right to release, to post any more listings in your store. For some days, for example, for seven days, you cannot post in goods anymore on AliExpress. And then, the most serious penalty is temporarily freezing your account. For example, freezing your account for 15 days. And then, the terrible, the most serious is close your account, close your store directly. And here is also a rule that for users who have closed their account, that you cannot open another store with the same company, with the same person. So they will prevent you from registering any more store on AliExpress. Please be noticed. And here is the penalty details of serious violation and general violation. So for example, the uh, the first violation of serious that your listing will be deleted, your account will be frozen for one day, and the second violation freeze for seven days, and the third, your account will be closed. So this this is very serious, very terrible. So don't touch the red line. I think the penalties for general violations, two points deducted, a serious warning, six points deducted, reduced the commodity operation for three days. That means you cannot post any product in three days. But at this time, your product is still selling. It is still selling on AliExpress. The buyers can still search, can still, can still find your product, can still place order. You just restricted for community, uh, commodity posting. And then, more serious, 12 points deducted. Your account freeze for seven days. And this time, the store is closed. The buyers cannot find any of your products. And then, 14 days, 30 days, and then until 48 points deducted, your account, your store will be closed. This is for 
uh, general violations. And then we have learned how serious the penalty will be. It's, it's really terrible, right? And then how can we avoid the trademark infringement? To prevent infringement, you should pay attention to those positions, I mean, to those aspects. There are six aspects you need to pay attention to. All the pages, the home page, the listed page, the brand store page, etc. No trademark words, no trademark logos. And all the titles, all the pictures cannot with others' logo. Even in the properties, you cannot write the words of their logo, their trademark, neither their slogans. And also in the category listing, cannot write the trademark words. And uh, of course, the listing description. Here is the samples. For example, you have no association of the Apple company. You cannot put a picture with their logo. <coughs> and you have no permission. You cannot use the iPhone. You cannot use the keyword iPhone. And then in the properties, you cannot write any Apple, iPhone, etc. And then about the store category, somebody say, can I write it in the category, which is not in any product? No. For example, here are uh, the sunglasses category. Can I write the Ray-Ban? Can I write the Oakley? Can I write the, the Gucci here? No. Never. Please forget it. Don't do it. And then we should emphasize on the title. Don't use trademark word into your title. And uh, if your product is matching a product of a big brand, please add four. For example, if you are selling the phone case, the iPhone phone case, you should write in this way. Phone case for iPhone. Cannot be iPhone phone, iPhone case. And the third rule, the brand word after spill it, it is still counted as infringement. Here I will, go, I will give you some examples. We take the Stardust, for instance. The Stardust is a trademark. And you cannot write it directly into your title, the Stardust. And then you cannot split it. That means divide it, the word into two words. For example, the first Stardust, separate them. No, this is also infringement. How about Stardust with another word in between? No, no way. This is also infringement. How about Starring Dust? No. It is still infringement. So please notice, don't do this. And then for the if, if you sell the keys, you sell the phone keys, you can write in this way, the phone keys for iPhone. If you sell other accessories for some cars, for example, uh, the accessories for BMW, you should write accessory for BMW car. This is the use of the four. And then we should emphasize on the picture. How about I delete or change a little bit of the logo? For example, of this. This is a, this is a Converse shoes, right? In the Converse shoes, there is a logo on the shoes, which is with a logo and also with the slogan. It is a star, a star logo, right? And also the all star slogan, right? How about I delete or I remember some of the words? If, if I delete all the logo and, and, and uh, post a shoes without any logo. No, it's also infringement. So don't do it like this. And here is also other suggestions of, to avoid trademark infringement. The first, we need to respect for IP rights. So please be strictly check your online and offline product. Here you should pay attention on the offline product. Actually, in our selling center, about the listings, there are offline, there are online, offline, and delete three options. So even the products is in the offline status. AliExpress can also update, can also check it out. So if you have this kind of product, that's delete it, delete it clearly. And the second. It's better we can develop the quality of our own brands. Why not register your own brand 
and then post on AliExpress and then make advertising for them to grow your own brand, right? And then if you are selling the brand of others, it's better you got a permission, you got the authorization paper for them. So just publish the branded products, just publish them after the permission, the authorization. This is the other suggestion of how to avoid the trademark infringement. And then I will show you some cases of the trademark infringement. For example, the Gucci. The Gucci, the trademark, is not only for the brand name Gucci, G-U-C-C-I. It also includes the pattern, the strip of green, red, green. You cannot use this pattern into your clothes, into the, the pillar, into the, the, the edge. You cannot use it into your phone case, into a belt, into a tie, etc. Never use it. Never use this color matching. And then about the word trademark. For example, the World Cup 2018. This is registered by FIFA. Also the Russia 2018. This words. You cannot use this word in any format into your t-shirt, into your product. So the same with the Olympics, etc. So don't use this kind of words. Don't use this kind of words, even with four. For example, if you have a t-shirt, you cannot write it a t-shirt for World Cup 2018. It is also an infringement case. And then the trademark about uh, Adidas strip. Well, many sellers have this problem. They have a t-shirt, they have trousers with this strip because there is no Adidas logo on the t-shirt. So they think, I have never infringement, I have never violated the rules of the trademark. But the Adidas strip, the white strip, the three white strip is also their trademark. It's the pattern trademark. So never use it into your clothes. And then here is a copyright infringement case. Let's check this bag. This bag is without logo, without slogan without any text. So, is it an infringement? Yes, it is. Why? Because this picture is registered, the copyright, by this website. So if you download this picture and post it into your store, into a listing, then it is an infringement of the owner of the backbase.com. So that's why I just said previous don't steal, don't copy the pictures from others' websites, right? And then, here is also the patent infringement. For example, here is the patent of Apis Brush. They have the design pattern. They have the design pattern for this kind of brush. How about if I have this kind of product? It's without any logo, without any text. Can I post it into AliExpress? No because it is similar to their design pattern. And then here is also a pattern of, it is a serious violation. And, and, and many sellers have posted this kind of product. And this is very well. Yes, but the, the ranking is very high on the top page and sell so many orders each day. But then the more you sell, the faster the store is closed and the payment cannot withdraw into your account. This is the patent of Vovi. This is not only a patent, not only infringement of patent, but also trademark. The patent, it is a design patent for this monkey toy. And here is also the trademark, the Vovi. So if you post a listing like this, with this kind of picture and with these keywords in your title, this is surely a serious violation. If you have three times offenders, then your account will be closed. This is the cases of the patent infringement. And here is another infringement case I need to remind you. For example, if, if I'm selling the pillows or I'm selling the lamp onto uh, in AliExpress, can I post a picture like this? You should notice the wallpaper. 
the wallpaper is with the trademark of FCB, the Football Club of Barcelona. This is also an infringement of the trademark. This is also a technical case. And there is another case. For example, if you are selling uh, sunglasses, and the sunglasses is uh, so polarized the lens, and you want to show it when you drive a car, if you put this picture, don't make the car's logo out. Don't make the car's logo visible. That is also infringement of the treatment of the car, the, brand, the car's brand. So please notice this. And then, this is the cases of infringement. So you wonder, so many infringement cases, how can I check it before I post my product? So there, here is the way to check the IP details. For example, if you want to check the IP details of USA, just open this website and search from the test. You can search the trademark database here. Just to put the trademark name, the trademark number, etc. here, you can get the information. Just like this, the process. And then, for the European Union, you can check it from this website. The process is similar. Just write the trademark name or trademark number here. And also have the website to check the trademarks from other areas. It is the same process. For example, you can check you can check the brand, the name, the numbers, the dates, also in the countries of the trademark. So this is the website we can check the IP details. Here is also a website that we can check the patent details in this or him website. Just check it here for the patents. And also there is a broad list reference that is easier to validate. This is a list from AliExpress. So you can check it from this website to check the logo of them, the name of them, and the owner of them. So don't use their trademark as your keywords. Don't use the logo into your picture, into your product. They are all infringement. And then, how to respond to the IP infringement if your product, your listing, is got complaints against? Here is the response. First of all, you need to know the IP details of the third party. You can check it from the above websites I just showed you to check the details of the trademark, the logo, the keywords, or the pattern, the design, the invasion, etc. Just check it to see whether your product is really validated them. If so, you need to determine whether your product is infringing and decide what to do. If you, are, if you agree that your product is really infringement, then just clean up in your seller center. Clean up the other product immediately to delete them to avoid uh, the more complaint in future. And then if you disagree, if you disagree the product infringement, you should initiate a counter notification. That means you need to collect some proofs and then apply to AliExpress, AliExpress platform to fight against them. Of course, for both ways of response, you can contact the third part owner. That means the trademark, the patent owner. If, if you can get the information, just contact them. If you agree that your product is infringement, just contact them to let them withdraw these complaints and to them, I'm not doing the infringement on purpose, and I will never do it again in future. To talk with them friendly to withdraw these complaints. This is also another way to settle the infringement. And then, if, if we have our own intellectual property, how can we protect our own? This is the way. If, if someone infringes your IP, you just report this item in the listing. Here is the report button. Just click the report 
atom, then you can select the report type, the IP complaint, the non right holder, the prohibition, and also the search related violations, etc. You can just report, especially our intellectual property here. Just uh, submit a report. And here is another way to complain. Uh, and this way is faster and more formal. In this website, just uh, click this website and click into this website. This is the Alibaba Group IP protection platform. You can log in here and offer your complaints. It's better you can get this information. You can get this information in the Excel sheet about your patent or your trademark information, your patent or trademark pictures to collect all your information, especially for the patent pictures, the different side of the wheel, and then off it, upload it into this platform. It is faster and formal. Okay, this is all about the intellectual property rules.